out in front of Mast, staring at trees. Sounds upset. Whatever it is, it can't be that bad, right? Keeping the skies safe out there? flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the NAT. Oh, I've always liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Hmm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. Contrary to what you might have heard. UC security personnel are good people. Security scanners, chemical snippers. Mm. The United Colonies sure isn't taking any chances. Shock she managed to limp back here at all. Pull it for leeches, get it fixed up, and let her know we'll have it ready as soon as we can. Ah, you are new probationary then? Crew Chief Herat, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? I honestly didn't realize it had people living on it until we got your record. Report they gave us seemed clean, no known hostile outposts. But I wouldn't say that's permission to let your guard down. Just watch out for wildlife and pirates. Keep those med packs handy and you'll be fine. Nothing too dangerous, if that's your concern. The repair suite's mostly just wiring and circuit boards. The welcome kit has some goodies in there I wouldn't leave sitting around when company comes to visit. But it's nothing some proper storage can't make safe. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit.
Captain Mark. Hello. I believe this is a process known as small talk. It is not my specialty, but I will do my best. My programming dictates that I must answer any question. Constellation has seen to it that I possess a near encyclopedic knowledge of human history, art, culture, and science. May I answer a question for you? I have been programmed to comprehend all modern and ancient human languages. The only exception is body language. My body is crafted from reinforced metal and therefore incompatible with such forms of expression. Logically, I believe the correct answer to be the airplane, followed shortly by the computer. Humans could not have become a spacefaring species without them. Illogically speaking, I am inclined to believe that books were your greatest invention. I have spent a good deal of time processing works of science fiction. They make good case studies in how your species could have made a mess of its entry into the stars in different ways than you did in reality. I am looking at one. I hope that was a suitable response. Constellation did not equip me with a sense of humor. I have done my best to mimic Barrett's. This is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience enjoyment. However, I find that the music of ancient Japan has a pleasantly mathematical sound. The same is true of the works of European composers from the Baroque period. I have dedicated significant time to processing these compositions and understanding their structure. You are an exceptionally curious human. Constellation recovered me from an abandoned lunar robotics factory on Earth's moon, where I was manufactured. I am told I was in quite a state of disrepair. Barrett elected to refurbish me after the discovery. Since then, I have been reprogrammed to be useful to Constellation. Constellation is an exceptionally driven and intelligent group of humans. I would expect nothing less of them. I am powered by wheels and cogs. They are responsible for any ticking that emanates from me. That is a difficult question to parse. I do not experience human emotions such as enjoyment. However, I have been kept busy since Constellation acquired me. That satisfies my directive to be as helpful as possible for the duration of my existence. In a geographical sense, the Lodge cannot be missed. It is easily accessible from the New Atlantis spaceport. But I presume that you are using miss in this context to mean long for. In which case, my answer is no. I long for nothing. Barrett, however, regularly complains about missing the Lodge's amenities during our travels. This has led me to the conclusion that it is a place worth missing. I have not taken your questions anywhere, Captain. Literally or otherwise. Your vital signs indicate that you were not amused by this attempt at humor. Noted. I will tweak my linguistic processors accordingly. Very well. Please proceed with your query. Lunar Robotics is a manufacturing company. 
they are most notable for creating Model A robots. Their headquarters was once located on Earth's moon. It was evacuated during the cataclysm that rendered Earth uninhabitable. Today, lunar robotics products are still found throughout the settled systems, myself included. It is impossible to read Barrett. He is neither a book nor a block of code. If you are asking for a summary of my observations on his behavior, I will provide one. Based on my understanding of Barrett, I believe he would be flattered by that assessment. I find you to be a more measured and logical captain than Barrett. It would be quite difficult for another human to be more reckless than him. My likelihood of expiration due to corporeal destruction has been significantly reduced since coming aboard your ship. You should consider this a success. I am relieved that your curiosity has been satisfied. But this ship is starting to feel like home. What's next on the agenda? Saving the world? Saving the galaxy? Has anyone ever told you you're the greatest explorer in the settled systems? Well, they should. Of course, I am sworn to tell you the truth and nothing but. Oh, I'm not that interesting. I like coffee, I like tea, and I like worshipping the ground you walk on. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to glide. Well, for one, your triumph on Vectera was all over the news. But I believe that's only the beginning. The first chapter in a 437-book anthology documenting your greatness. It's only a matter of time before they start writing it. I'll be counting the seconds until they do. 1,001, 1,002. Oh, don't worry. My love for you is completely platonic. Unbreakable? Yes. Unyielding? Absolutely. Romantic? Oh, God, no. I would never sully something so pure with something so ordinary. Oh, no. That sounds ominous. Excessively charming? Underappreciated? Wonderful. Stop being your fan? But why? But I'm in great shape of following you around. I get a ton of exercise. No, I don't think you want me to leave. Why would you? We're great together.
abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. <laughs> At least we know it wasn't the Crimson Fleet.
thought. Or you've got some incredible timing. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. But be quiet. got here. It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? You'll make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. Other than a remorseless killing machine. Among Apex Predators, they're the pinnacle. Resilient, agile, smart. And their mental prowess only increases with age. Some can even dominate the minds of weaker species, keeping them as pets, livestock. Or toys. <laughs> they're creatures without peer. Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. Makes two of us. But this creature, I need to understand what it's doing here. To do that requires a tissue sample from it, and to get a sample, I need its corpse. But we're not without resources. This plant, it's got an automated security system. Though getting things online, as I've discovered, is not a one-person job. The admin terminal in this building needs its connection reset. And to do that, someone has to get to the security outpost. Across the compound. Not a far walk, but a risky one. You think you might be willing to lend me a hand? The settlers outfitted most of the buildings with turrets at some point. Not sure how many are still operable, but at least a few appeared to be in fighting shape. There were also some sensors scattered around the facility that I didn't recognize. But those are honestly all just educated guesses until we get the connection reset. It's the building in the middle of the facility. The terminal in there should allow you to grant me access to the system as a whole. Then we can see about getting things back online. Admin access is centralized to the terminal in this room. Nothing's coming back online if I'm not here. But even if that weren't the case, I'd likely be more of a liability out there than a help right now. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there, and make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample.
Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to becoming a vegetarian. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating. But I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. Those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. Not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to reading green. What's that sound? Security lockdown is active.
Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to becoming a vegetarian.
seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to become a vegetarian. I'm not sure what makes its home here, but we should keep our weapons at the ready. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? Essence above, you just flatlined a terror morph! <laughs> oh, yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? A lot of life gets recorded in our cells. Like, for example, if this Terramorph's cells have certain radiation or chemical exposures, it could point to it having been transported on a ship. Then, we could start getting some answers about this thing. So, did you manage to nab one? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. <sighs> oh, 
Hopefully this isn't as concerning as it seems. you can do. Running basic diagnostics? Nothing. Maybe a flag scan? No. Spectrograph. Damn. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means, we're either looking at a truly strange murder, or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. They have. They even took down an entire city once place called Londinian had to be quarantined due to a massive outbreak during the colony war. It's the only known loss of that scale, but it's the reason why any change in our relationship with these creatures needs to be taken very seriously. Well, they're not exactly buying tickets and flying coach. The theory is that they're spread by some kind of egg or seed that's able to evade our detection. But how the hell an undetectable egg turns into a terramorph without anyone noticing is a question no one's ever found an answer to. And it's why what's happened here could be real bad news for the rest of human civilization. There is. There has to be. We just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I was, long time ago, family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. 
couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And... here. It's not a lot, but... you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. Warm up the engines. Who's back? All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. A terror? What? How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? A gene tag? Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as... Co-head of a UC Xeno Weapons Division. Faced tribunal at the end of the Colony War. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno Warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. I'm sure she doesn't list it at the top of her resume, but considering her service record and her area of expertise, I'm not seeing a reason to think this request is anything other than genuine. Did your survivor, Hadrian, does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? See, this 
uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out.